everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Seasons greetings to everybody. I hope you had a beautiful Christmas if you celebrate with your loved ones and uh, looking forward to 2020. The new decade is upon us and about to begin. It is New Year's Eve tomorrow. Woohoo! There is so much going on. But I wanted to get in the studio and film this, which is my entire Louis Vuitton collection for 2019. I feel like it's kind of perfect timing to do it because it's been a decade. I have been collecting Louis Vuitton for over a decade now, right? 2007. I'd like to start this video by announcing the winner of my Louis Vuitton giveaway for the little Vivian Christmas uh, limited edition notebook set that I am giving away here on YouTube and Instagram. The winner that I have chosen is my subby. Her name is Nikki. Hi babe. So congratulations Nikki. I have, I will contact you. I have probably already contacted you announcing this winner. Uh, but yay, they are for you. Congratulations. Thank you to everybody who entered that giveaway. I have more giveaways coming in the new year, which is really exciting. I know you guys super love those. I'm nervous again. Okay, take note. I'm nervous. I just, again, because especially with Louis Vuitton, I feel like I don't know possibly if I could have forgotten an item. Like, I don't know where it is. I remember in one video... A subby was like, you forgot this, and I actually still had it. But, as I say, if you don't see it, it is because I have sold it. Hopefully I haven't forgotten it, but it is because I have sold it. I can tell you that much. I am going to tell you right now, the best starter luxury brand. If you are thinking of getting into luxury and you want to create a little collection or whatnot, start with Louis Vuitton. Firstly, better entry level prices for luxury things and luxury items and the addiction is real okay it's real and you don't really know it until you get into it and you start it but once you get bitten and you get that one bag or that one SLG it's over you want to just keep going and keep collecting so in saying that I had to go and pick this up from my mum because uh, I loaned it to her, but it is my first ever piece of luxury, 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 my first ever piece of luxury, my first ever piece of Louis Vuitton, and this is beaten. I don't know. I see some girls say, oh my God, mine hasn't even got a scratch on it. I'm like, this thing is so messed up. It's just crazy. It's so chipped, it's so tarnished. It smells like an old, like, op shop piece. 2007, ooh. Um, beaten as. So many people ask if this should be your starter piece. Absolutely, great starter piece. It is the Louis Vuitton key holder, or the Louis Vuitton clay in French. And it has the key holder, and it's one compartment. Great for holding keys. Um, great for holding a card, so a little card wallet. Not great for holding coins if you're going to keep the chain inside because that's what I did and the chain got incredibly dented and chipped and it's just shocking. So this was my first ever piece. Where did I get it? Bondi Junction Louis Vuitton. No particular order. It has to be in no particular order because it's just all in front of me. But this, this is, should be all of my smaller the goods or smaller items, not handbags. This is my Dragon strap. It's just the key uh, strap. It's just the key strap with the mini monogram canvas on it and uh, just the key hook. There's no clasp is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and this stays on my car key all the time. I thought of getting more, but really it's not worth it. These things are pretty pricey. Like this was like $3.75 or something. And I picked this up from Bondi Junction. In this little baggie, we have my round coin purse or porte-monnaie. Ding, French. Uh, I did think of parting this when I got my multi pochette because it has one on there and it's a little bit bigger and uh, has the mini, uh, the like the mini monogram, which is beautiful. However, I didn't. I ended up keeping it. I don't know. I just sort of went, okay, well, we'll have two. 
uh, but it's gorgeous. I got this in Sydney Maison. In this little bag here is my one and only mini pochette and my second only Damier Ibin piece. You will notice in this Louis Vuitton collection that it is predominantly monogram. Predominantly monogram. I have a couple of items that are outside of monogram canvas, but it is predominantly monogram. I myself have decided in the last year to turn everything to monogram, bar a few little items like this one, uh, just because I just got over the other canvases. It became, it was giving me a bit of anxiety. Can't really explain. It's kind of like a Louis Vuitton thing. You have to kind of know. It was giving me a bit of anxiety and I just wanted to all be consistent. That's kind of my answer. I think it was because of all of my travel um, luggage and everything was all monogram. I just wanted to keep going from there. So this is the mini pochette, which is a very, very popular item. It is uh, it is gone gangbusters. I have been asked many times why. Can't really answer it. I think ever since the pullback of canvas pieces, meaning that Louis Vuitton are making less canvas pieces, pushing leather pieces, that because they're rarer to find, it's kind of like the hunt to find them. And this is one of those items. I would love this in monogram, by the way. Just plain monogram. I'm not going to get one right now. But uh, this is the mini pochette, highly recommend it, mainly because it's absolutely adorable. It's kind of like a little handbag and there's a lot of, there's a big part of you that wants to use it as a handbag, but I mean, it's tiny and um, it's a fantastic catch-all. This one's got the red lining, you can see how dirty it is down inside there, uh, but the red lining for Damier Bin and I picked this up. In Sydney Maison. This is, see, outside of monogram canvas. Still monogram, but the, this is the Mahina monogram. So it's Mahina full leather monogram in the Galay color. And this is the four key holder. I picked this up in New Zealand on my last New Zealand trip with my husband because I am like head over heels in love with the four key. Yes, a six key holds a card in the back. Like, sorry, not on the back. In here, you can slip a card, like a credit card. You most use credit card. Very handy. However, I just love a four key. So what did I do? I sold my Damieri bin to buy just the monogram canvas. And what did they do? They discontinued it. They have discontinued the four key and I have no idea why. Uh, but I couldn't get it so I will definitely have to get it off the resale market maybe fashionfile.com in this drawstring dust bag is now my one and only belt see this is in Damier bin as well there's a few Damier, piece, Damier pieces left this is the second one of it and this is my only belt left all the others are gone the reason I've kept this is because it is so banged up it's so banged up it's ridiculous. This is the first belt I ever got. I got this from Landmark on uh, in Hong Kong, um, Hong Kong Island side, Louis Vuitton, and it was the first ever belt I get got. Sorry, it is the um, riveted, riveted belt. It's a unisex belt, men or women, and beautiful, chunky. I don't wear belts anymore. So that's great. In this little drawstring dust bag is not a belt, but it is my XL uh, strap. So the extra large length, which means it has the adjustable rivets on the side. It has four of them and it is in the reverse monogram. This was such a good purchase. I second guessed whether I should purchase it. However, I bit the bullet and did it because it is so pricey. I was like, oh my God, am I going to use this? I use this every time I use my pochette Matisse. I still don't like the strap of the pochette Matisse, like the all canvas strap. So using this, which is leather lined, so it's got the black cowhide leather on the back and then it's got reverse monogram on the front, is so comfortable. 
and it's just a really comfortable type strap. So I whack it on my Poche Matisse. I've whacked it on my mini palm springs before, but these are actually, it's hard to swallow the price, but they're worth it. <sighs> the woolen cardigan was not a good idea, just FYI. This little drawer box, ta-da, is a new acquisition in this little drawstring dust bag. These are my LV hoops. These are the Louise hoops. I just purchased these. These are my most recent purchase from Bondi Junction Louis Vuitton and they're gorgeous total statement total you want to wear a logo <laughs> where he's like bam you are wearing LV girl love them lightweight very gorgeous if you want to go for that kind of over the top out there earring these are them I have two shawls left in my shawl collection and if things are gone it's mainly to fund Chanel and I know oh, I keep saying that this is my black ew with really a lot of pilling and dust on it my black LV monogram shawl in noir so black yes and I kept my hands on this because for travel this thing is fantastic and I do get tons of use out of it. It's crushed right now because I have it in this baggie. When I bought these, and I think I bought it from Bondi Junction, my SA Serena gave me one shoe bag <laughs> for these to go in. They're not meant to. They don't actually have a dust bag, which is weird, but anyway. In this one is my denim monogram shawl in black. So it looks, I feel like this is so different because it looks gray on one side and it's kind of like, you know, light gray and dark gray and sort of feeling vibe. Look at the snagging. Like you can just look at this, look at the snagging. These things, if you can't stand wear, they don't get a Louis Vuitton shawl. Okay, let's do these guys, I've got a few of these. In this dust baggie, we have my, ah, my black uh, Macasa line mini luggage tag. So this is a small size. I got this from Karis's SA Giulini. Hi Karis, hi Giulini. Uh, she managed to get me one. They stopped selling them that like hardcore pump the brakes on selling luggage tags outside of owning the bag it matches and at that time I really wanted one of these uh, black Macasa ones to go on my mini Palm Springs backpack with Mussie's initials. I had just had Mussie. This luggage tag is my large size uh, um, coated leather in the damier, like in the dark brown, the damier uh, luggage tag, which I got in Singapore for the year of the monkey when I was pregnant with Mussy because he was 2016, the year of the monkey, and I got that hot stamp. Okay, in this dust baggie, which is a bit bigger, is my <laughs> JC luggage tag which went on my keeper. However, <laughs> I had a brand new luggage tag, which had I purchased it? I don't know if it, I had a brand new luggage tag. So when I sold that keeper 50 bandolier, I put the brand new one on it. So there was a luggage tag that went on it, but I kept this one because it has, it was stamped JC for Jerusha Katua and my initials. My name is not Jerusha Katua, so many people ask. My initial is JC, my middle name is C. In this little baggie, <laughs> in this little baggie is my keychain extender. I purchased a keychain extender online from Louis Vuitton um, last year, yes, to go as a zipper pull helper for the mini Palm Springs backpack or the Palm Springs backpack. I have seen so many people do this as well with either charms or this keychain extender. Shout out to Monique. Hi babe. Monique and her daughter Sam have matching backpacks and they have these. So helpful. Put it on the bottom. 
put it on the zipper and you just use it. It's so helpful. Mum lives by hers, lives by hers. Mum swears by hers. She has a silver one on her handbag and keeps her car key on it uh, inside her purse and she swears by it. How are we going? Forgetting things? Feels like it. In this dust bag, we have my toiletry 15, another hot item that everyone is kind of after. Totally recommend this size for a catch-all inside your bag. It is fantastic, bigger than a mini pochette, holds far more than a mini pochette, like it's just fabulous. Another, or the last in this bag, the last Damier Ibin item that I have held onto, even though I've changed my most of my collection to monogram, the last Damier Ibin item I held onto is this guy, and this is the Zippy Compact Wallet. My first Louis Vuitton wallet. So my first Louis Vuitton item was uh, the clay. My first Louis Vuitton wallet was this guy, and this is the flat lay Zippy Compact Wallet, which they have now changed, or not now, but they changed a couple of years back into a gusset like the Zippy. Uh, so it has two gussets on either side. It's no longer flat lay. I always say I have no idea why they did that. This is such a sensational wallet. You get 10 cards. There's so many different compartments, like a hidden compartment here, and you can lay your bills flat. If you can get this wallet off the resale market, I suggest you do. If you're looking for a long wallet slash kind of compact size wallet go for this because truthfully it is just it's honestly one of those wallets that you're like oh I don't have to downsize anything. Okay, next up would be another new item again <laughs> if you don't see any other items that's because they have sold but this didn't sell this stayed with me the other items that I unboxed from this Christmas collection, I got so many emails. I got inundated with emails of, am I looking to sell? It didn't come to my country. The other ones just went straight away. This one I didn't part with because I did want to hold on to something from it. Like I was like, okay, you know, I was like, yeah, okay, you can have it. Like I'll sell it. But this one I got asked most about. Everyone was like the Vivian pencil case, the, sorry, the Venice Vivian pencil case, but I just didn't let go of it. And I held on to it because it makes me happy. It's beautiful. I didn't show the inside. That's the inside. It's got beautiful um, micro suede lining with a little book booklet. Will I use it? Um, I don't know. I was thinking of shadow boxing it. What do we think to like make up for when I sold the one mum got me of the Illustre? I don't know. So many people asked to buy this one. However, I didn't let it go. So still with me. I didn't show this in my Louis Vuitton um, SLG collection. I think last year someone asked, where is it? I still have it. It is the Epi notebook. So this is Epi leather. It's going to blow out if I come up. It's in the... Rose Ballerine, which is really pretty because it's actually, it's like not the Poudre or Poudre. And then I've got JC Hot Stamped there. It's got the little Louis Vuitton Keeper, which the books, uh, the little notebooks have as well. And yeah, I use, it's like my YouTube book. It lives over there. I have no idea why I forget it, forgot it last time. These are the Louis Vuitton inserts to the notebook. To the desktop agenda, I did have, but that has sold. Small leather goods or items that I have been gifted. Ha! Huh? I have no idea why. This is the best job in the world, because it's just such a fun job, because we're enthusiasts, but I also get gifted this stuff. I have no idea why. It's crazy. It is so crazy. In this box from my beautiful Millie, the company is Samorga Bag Organizer. I have worked with them for ages. Millie and the company gifted me these LV V initial studs. 
They adjust the V if you can see there and they are so gorgeous. I was completely surprised. I thought I was doing um, some sponsorship work for them and instead I opened up the box to these studs. I was just floored. They are so beautiful. It was not necessary, but I just adore them. Thank you so much to Samorga. In this little box, my subby, Christine, who is from Australia, from Sydney, gifted me this beautiful chain, interlocking chain Louis Vuitton bandeau. And it's blowing out a bit. It's like a cream, cream kind of ivory background and it's got the beautiful chains and is so gorgeous. I have put it on my um, garden party down there and it works so, so nicely. So thank you so much, darling, for that. In this little darling box, this was so gorgeous. This was a gift from a subby. Her username was I love LV. I think her name was Susie. I really don't want to get that wrong, babe. I'm sorry. I, I can remember all these names off by heart usually I, and people say how do you remember them? I, listen, you got to remember it, gift girl, that's just rude. I'm, I'm pretty sure her name is Susie. She gave me a padlock and key set as a gift. It was so beautiful and so, like it surprised me so, so much. It was back when we lived in the beach house. We were house sitting in the beach house and she gave it to me. But hi babe, thank you so much. In this little dust pouch is a luggage tag. And this was gifted to me from Louis V83, Mr. Kevin on Instagram. He got me the um, large luggage tag with the gold Hawaii hibiscus stamped on the front of it and then it has some Chinese characters on the back of it. Thank you so much for this honey. It was so beautiful when I received that from you. It was just so lovely and to start the hot stamping obsession. Carrying on <laughs> in this little dust pouch is my angel, my emerald queen who gifted me this perfection, <laughs> could not, it could not describe this woman anymore. My subby Monique is emerald green obsessed. She collects, she is the queen of monogram firstly. She has almost every item you can imagine of monogram and then every item as a contrast to complement of like green of this like emerald kind of green. So she gifted me a large luggage tag in the coated leather in the green and I cried because along with it in this dust bag, I know it's crazy, why does this happen? She gifted me this amazing Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse. This has to be the best item. If you're thinking of starting your collection, get this, please. It is seriously my go-to small wallet. If you see, it's the only small wallet I have from Louis Vuitton and it's just phenomenal. And on top of that, it was gifted from my beautiful friend and I just love it. She put a lucky dollar down inside the pocket. I always keep it in there. Actually, I'll keep her card in there as well with her little card. And I was so lucky and honored enough to meet her and her beautiful family. And I will forever love you, dear. And I just think you are an angel and thank you so much. In this little dust bag, that's what this is all gonna be like was this crazy gift, which ended up being a gift, but I just asked her, I swear, I just asked her if her essay could help me out by getting this, because I wanted like the matching with um, the Macasa line with the um, canvas as the luggage tag. Miss Leo Lion LV, um, Miss Linda, I asked her and the next thing I know it came in the post and she was like surprise this is for you and I was like what I wanted to buy it she said too bad I'm giving it to you so this gorgeous monogram canvas with the um, black leather and it's the Macasa line 
Thank you so much, Linda. That was not what I was, I was asking for your hand in help. I wanted to buy it, but she gave it to me. In this dust bag is my first gifted item from the phenomenal company that I blog for, Fashion File. These guys are, I don't need to rave about them anymore. I know that you all know how I feel about Fashion File. I think you know my relationship with them and how much I've been incredibly, you know, loyal to them and blogged for them and talked about them. But they gifted me this, or Sarah and Ben, the CEOs, gifted me this for my 30th birthday present, along with my Le Boy bag behind me. They didn't give me that, they didn't give me that. No, 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 I bought that and they gifted me this, which is the uh, larger size clay in the Verney leather, the Verney monogram, um, the patent leather in the color Amarant, which is truthfully the most beautiful Verney monogram color. It, it really is. It's just phenomenal. They have since discontinued the plate on the front. Again, God knows why. It's beautiful with it. So that was from Fashion File. And then the second and shocking item gifted from Fashion File is in this dust bag. And it would be my Louis Vuitton eye trunk phone case. If you saw this unboxing, it was a shocker, an absolute shocker. But they gifted this to me and I was beyond. This is like the original version, the really like the heavier, sturdier kind of, it's like a trunk, it really is like a trunk version in the reverse monogram for the iPhone 7 Plus or 8 Plus. And I mean, it's perfection. It is so glamorous, it is so beautiful. So thank you to them. And lastly, for my Louis Vuitton gifts that I'm showing as items that I was gifted is this ridiculous, ridiculous gift from my beautiful subby Susan. If you saw that unboxing, that was pure shock. I was so floored and just beside myself. I did not know what to say. It freaked me out. This is the Louis Vuitton Insulate Wallet in Damieri Bin. Oh yeah, this is a Damieri Bin piece, sorry. This is my other wallet in Damieri Bin. Sorry, I said that I had changed them all. I hadn't. This one, of course not. This is a gift from Susan and she knew that I had missed out on this wallet. It has the red lining and she knew I missed out on it. So she gifted me hers, like, um, I treasure it. I treasure all of these gifts like honestly, they are just beyond it beyond I cannot even understand I just why People give me this stuff that I do for a living. It's crazy, but thank you from the bottom of my heart Okay, moving on. This is going to be a long video girl. Sorry first Voyager pouch. This is the PM Voyager pouch uh, that I keep in my briefcase and I keep it as a mini like um, storage for my um, passports, my external drives, my chargers, pens and cords and things like that. This is the MM version of it and um, then there's a GM version which will fit a 15 inch laptop. This fits the 13 inch laptop. My laptop's not in there right now. They are fantastic. They are not padded. They're just like a holder, like just to, to slip your um, laptop in. It's not gonna protect it like a padded briefcase kind of slip would. But I have those two, so it pairs nicely as my briefcase set. Okay, let's move on to pouches and travel, shall we? God, this is gonna be so long. This is gonna be so long. First pouch and travel case or makeup and toiletry case, that is what I predominantly use these all for, is this guy. This is the small or the PM size uh, cube, packing cubes from Louis Vuitton. These are newer additions to uh, their styles and I think they'll be classic now. And they're meant to be packing cubes to go down inside the horizon 
because the Horizon doesn't really have compartments. However, I use this to hold all my eyelash, strip eyelash needs. This is my toiletry 19, I was about to say 15, I've already shown you that. The toiletry set comes in three. I only have two of them. I have the 15, which I showed you, and this is the 19. The 19 is the best Goldilocks size ever. I use this for all my face needs. The zip is a little bit, a little bit gross now, but you can rub some baking paper on that and it should really clean it back up. Uh, so all my face needs, so current like foundations, primers, um, and things like that, concealers go in here. This is my cosmetic case, GM. Uh, I wanted to collect this in the monogram so that I had the two. Not particularly necessary because I did think I was going to put my brushes in here. However, I haven't really got around to that. And I just stand up my extra bottles of foundation and um, primer, uh, sorry, face setting sprays and things like that. And then therefore it doesn't do up. It's not a clever thing to do. I was going to put extra brushes in here because this is my brush. Um, this is my brush toiletry and this is the toiletry. I don't want to turn it around because there's crap on this side. Ew. This is the toiletry 25. This was my first toiletry or cosmetic case that I had purchased and I purchased it in Hong Kong. I want to tell you something about why I changed everything to monogram and just how I'm genuinely feeling, which I think you've kind of started to pick up in a my a few of my like last mon like sorry my <laughs> monogram my last Louis Vuitton videos is that I'm starting to maybe get over old looking patina. I like patina. I will forever like patina. However, I don't like grubby patina and when it starts to age and just really look incredibly dead I, me personally, that's cool if you're down for it. I was like that. Like that's probably why I let go of my keypaw because it just looked dirty. And I don't know, I, it's something I'm going through. Me, me, personal, me. So like how I said about my Speedy 25 and I'm like, I'll never part with these things. But to be honest, I could pick up a new one of these tomorrow and sell this guy. And I think, I feel, I just feel like I've got to, I think I'm at a point where I'm like more brutal and I'm just like, get over the sentimental value. Like I'm over it. <laughs> it's shocking to say, and I know so many people will be like, no, but you love that. No, 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 no. Yeah, I did, but I don't want it to look dead. I want it to look new. I want the patina to stop. I want it to stop at this type of patina. Okay. Like seriously, that's enough. Like that's perfect. It's like a light, tan this little tab i'm talking about it's a light tan we're good when it starts to look dead patina and it's all discolored like this piping here look at that and then the inside is just a nightmare it's like i don't know i get over it that's my little spiel let me know what you think below this is got this houses all my brushes and i've had it forever and ever and ever and the brushes are really dirty but that's what that is a toiletry 25. This is my favorite case toiletry pouch from Louis Vuitton. I want another one. God knows what for, but I just do. I just want another one. This is the cosmetic case PM size and it's delicious. <laughs> okay. So it holds all my lipsticks and lip glosses down in there. Lips, lip pencils are on the bottom and then lipsticks and lip glosses and, the, and it holds fine. It holds beautifully. I think I want another one because I want it as another catch-all in my bag like my toiletry 15 is. This sits on my vanity with all my lip glosses and it just sits open. But this is a total, this is a starter piece for sure. I, I want another one. Finishing off, I hope, <laughs> my pouches and cases collection is these two. So this is my niece BB, which is a little stiff. I have to put some uh, uh, wax paper or baking paper on it. Like if your zipper's stiff, you just rub it with baking paper or wax. Niece BB, 
case, vanity case, that I use for all of my palettes. All my eyeshadow palettes or blush palettes are in here. I use it as a vanity case, not as a handbag. Some people use it as a handbag, uh, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. It's the full size BB, not the mini. Lastly for my pouches, uh, cosmetic pouches, is this guy. And this is new, new this year, sorry, and it's the king size. That's the name of it, King Size Cosmetic Case. It's got the double zipper with the little uh, vachette handle here. You pull it like so, and I lay all, oh, look how well I lay my, oh. Try that again, shall we? I lay all of my palettes in two lines like so, like small compact palettes, finishing powders, bronzers, blushes, single, pop blushes like that. I lay that in here. Okay. Let's go hair mags. Let's start up with this. The bag that has been missing in any other collection. <laughs> Honestly, it's never been shown in a collection video because I always don't have it because I'm usually filming when my baby's not here. And this Louis Vuitton Totally MM in monogram canvas is my baby bag. I use this as my baby bag, however, I am not putting it in a box. I would never say that I wouldn't use this later on as a handbag, I definitely would. It makes so much sense as a baby bag, not only because of the outside pockets, it's a perfect size, it's the MM size. It's not too big and after you have your first baby, listen, you learn you don't need a big baby bag, it just causes more fuss, you just need the essentials and this holds it perfectly. I picked this up off the resale market from uh, Fashion File um, and it was in fantastic condition. It still is, it's holding up well. Next bag would be this. This gorgeous little amazing thing is so cute. This is a Speedy Nano, the new Speedy Nano. And I unboxed this. I picked this up from my personal shopper in Paris, the front row Paris. I got my hands on this guy from her and I was so excited because it's incredibly sought after and pretty much sold out everywhere uh, and hard, hard to get. But believe it or not, it holds a bunch. It holds everything you need. It has the crossbody or shoulder strap attached to it permanently. I've done my first impressions. I will link it up here somewhere and you can have a look, but it's just gorgeous and of course in monogram. Next is this sensational bag and this was my first ever Louis Vuitton handbag that I purchased when I opened my boutique. This is what I started my YouTube channel on. My short hair, let's throw a picture in here, let's throw a clip in here. My short hair, spiky short hair after my car accident. I bought this when I opened my fashion boutique, my Jerusha Couture fashion boutique as a briefcase and like a all-in kind of bag and that's exactly what it was. It is used, okay? This thing is used and loved and this is a sentimental bag, it's my one bag tag. I wouldn't replace this and get another one, mainly because I wouldn't get another GM. I don't need this size really anymore. If I use this bag, I use it as kind of a briefcase or a handbag where I throw everything in it. Uh, but I wouldn't really recommend it as a baby bag. You can, the straps will just not be comfortable. It's hot stamped with my JC, my initials there and yeah, this is a sentimental thing. Maybe my sentimental story doesn't work for this one, but it is very sentimental. The latest bag to my collection is this guy. This is the On The Go Tote. I have had many, many questions since I unboxed this. Many questions, a few emails asking if I did want to part with it, that you couldn't get it in your country. Um, I haven't used it yet. I'm sitting on it because I genuinely bought it as a briefcase and I don't know if it's going to work as a briefcase. I don't know if this is the vibe I want as a briefcase uh, in the sense of something so boxy. I might want something a little bit more sort of compact and, and easy to get round if that makes sense. I would have my totally as a baby bag. This is a briefcase and my handbag. It's just kind of too much. So I'm sitting on it at the moment. 
don't know how I feel uh, unless another type of briefcase comes up but yeah this is the on the go I would recommend it as a tote if you're a tote girl for a bigger type bag as a handbag because of its two-way use I showed that in the unboxing it comes with the two flip up straps that are in here that is really handy another newbie but a repeated style is in this dust bag and have not used this either but this is the new new as in new remodeled mini palm springs backpack with the exposed zipper if you can get this get it <laughs> sell your old one and get this exposed zipper it is so much easier they should have corrected it far quicker I said that in the unboxing uh, the older zipper used to be under this lip underneath this little return here and it was hard to maneuver and it wore on the canvas design fault for sure so they fixed it and this is the new and improved model <laughs> now you'll see pigeonholes are completely empty <laughs> let's move on this guy, ha! the it bag, the it bag of the year. If there was an it bag of the year and it was like a debate between this guy being an it bag or the on the go being an it bag, this has to win. Truthfully, the way that this company marketed this bag was nothing short of genius. I don't care if you were angry out there, if you found it unfair that bloggers and celebrities were gifted this bag, it's genius. Dior do it and have been doing it for years now, but the way that Louis Vuitton did this was just brilliant and good on them. I would do the same thing if I had a luxury house that was worth the multi-billions that LVMH is, I would do the same thing because it worked. It worked and it worked well, my friends. This is the multi-pochette. Love it or hate it, doesn't matter. It's still gonna go on whether you're sitting there hating on it, saying it's ugly, I don't get it, it's confusing. Your opinions don't matter because people are still going nuts for this bag. And yes, it is a bag. Some people are like, you can't even call it a bag, it's just a collection of SLGs that are strapped together. They can call it whatever they want and it works. And that's the brilliance of Louis Vuitton. That is the brilliance of canvas. And that's why if they completely eliminated canvas, it would be death to the company because this is what sells. This is their bread and butter, as they always say. So when they come out with a design like this, whether it works or not, or you like it, it doesn't matter. It's just fantastic. So this is the multi pochette uh, bag we're in the rose clair so it's in the pink strap which I love because it has like the gold kind of beige contrast the khaki doesn't have a contrast it's just flat khaki and I didn't really like that I love that this is contrasted with the Louis Vuitton I interchange this with my pochette Matisse and it's amazing this guy is Yes, <laughs> still a sentimental bag in the sense of replacing it because the patina is just ridiculous. Like, it's dirty. So many people see it and they're like, oh my god, that's such beautiful patina. It's actually not in real life. It's really dirty and, you know, I'd love to be able to get it cleaned or whatnot. Most people steer away from cleaning Louis Vuitton because it's hazardous. Like, it just it doesn't really work. That's not what the... The raw leather is meant to age. That is what it's meant to do. You're not meant to protect it, put anything on it. It's meant to do this. Uh, however, when it gets dirty is what I'm saying in my little like spiel. So this is my Speedy Bandelier in size 25. I picked this up from Rome on my trip around Europe with my husband. And uh, it has my, oh, I forgot my small luggage tag. There we go. That's my small luggage tag on it as well. I forgot to take that off. This is my amazing pochette Matisse. I rave about this bag. I have had a million of them. I am currently using it right now. It is the plain monogram pochette Matisse with the beautiful um, micro suede microfiber lining. It's just so gorgeous. I have thought about adding uh, a Montaigne BB because that type of interior with monogram canvas is so beautiful. It's just so luxurious and gorgeous. This is not a handbag and I didn't, didn't even say these in my accessories. They're stuffed with the dust bags. These are my Star Trail monogram boots. 
that I got from a um, personal shopper um, store, eBay store called Glam Shock and they are phenomenal. I had missed out on being able to get these when they were super, super hot, like around the time the arch lights took off as well. And I just grabbed them on their website and they're amazing, total statement piece. This is my newest handbag. This is one of my newest handbags. This came before my on the go, but this is the mini boy chapeau or hat box, the mini hat box. And it is so cute. I have not used it yet. It is pre like treated cowhide. So that's like fresh vachette ish, fresh white. And this is pre treated. And I like this. If the vachette stopped at this level, it would be perfect. It is basically a card holder. It doesn't hold anything. I have not used it yet. It's got the little strap, cross body strap inside. Finishing off with these two items, however, I do have quite a few Louis Vuitton coffee table books I've received as gifts. I bought myself. I, I actually have some of the main, main ones. Um, I also have from my subby, Christine, she, may, she, she sent me the postcards and I put them all in a frame and it sat behind me on this wall. However, it fell off and smashed the frame and I'm getting new glass put in it. This <laughs> was my, uh, was it in my second? I think it was in my second ever YouTube video. Um, my Louis Vuitton Eva clutch in the monogram. It was like, yeah, my second ever video, I think showing this or unboxing it. And there is its crossbody strap. It's actually quite even patina. It's dark, but it's even, which is nice. And there it is. This still, hands down, is the most iconic clutch. The most iconic clutch. Again, have no idea why they discontinued it. No idea. They discontinued this, however, they bought back the bucket bag and the papillon. Like, what? It's so iconic. So, the Eva Clutch in Monogram, I was beyond when I got this bag, and my husband, boyfriend at the time, purchased it for me as a gift. And I just, I remember the feeling, I remember the smell, I just remember everything. It's amazing. And finishing up is this iconicness. And this would have to be my most smartest used expensive item I've ever bought from luxury. This is the Louis Vuitton Pegasus rolling suitcase in the classic style in the 55 Business Ligier. So this is the business style, so it has this front kind of like business compartment. It's not just flat with this slip pocket. You have a lock here and a lock here. The top handle, it comes with a luggage tag. The luggage tag I got stamped in California, so it's got a love heart and it's got Cali. I got it stamped in San Diego with Mini and this has to be my smartest purchase. I have used this carry-on. I've used it for, you know, a, a getaway, a drive getaway in the back of the car. I use it when I have to take too much to the office. It's just, it goes everywhere with me for travel and any of my moving needs and things like that. It is so handy to travel with. This front slip I put like all my passports and things like that. It comes, see this is the stuff that I feel like the horizon is just not luxurious. The line is not luxurious like this. Yes, it's more modern, but I don't feel like it's luxurious. It comes with the coat bag and the Louis Vuitton hanger. It's all engraved with Louis Vuitton. Padded iPad or um, laptop slips here. You have another slip back here, a little card slip here. You can put, you know, your passport in here and pen, see, things like that. And zip that up and have everything just right there for, you know, when you go through security and things like that. If you did have to check it, the, the suitcase comes with a cover. 
like just brilliant you know the suitcase comes with a cover look there's even like an LV on the zipper of the cover like everything is just done to perfection honestly it's so beautiful here in Australia like Jetstar and Tiger you can carry this on so that still fits which is great <laughs> Okay, that is it. That brings me to the end of my entire Louis Vuitton collection for 2019. Farewell 2019! I am not one of those people who ever wants to, you know, outdo the last year or wave goodbye to the last year if bad things or tragic things happen in the year. I just believe that is life. Everything is a learning curve. Everything is growth. And I think that is because of what I've been through, you know, in my car accident and nearly dying and then losing my father a year ago. I think I don't ever look back and be like, oh, I'm so glad this year's over. I'm not. I had a beautiful baby this year. And, and I had, you know, a gorgeous baby two years before that. So I could never, ever feel like I'm glad a year's over. I am just so excited. It's a new year coming and a new decade opening. You should always open yourself to new beginnings. I think it is so beautiful. We are all humans. And at the end of the day, all of this doesn't matter. It's who you are and who you are to other people. Being a good, kind person is really all that matters. Um, yes, so I wish you the best. Please be safe with your friends and family on New Year's. I wish you the best for the year ahead. I can't wait to see you next year in a day and do all my videos and we'll have a fun year. Maybe we'll go for trips this year. I think I'll do a lot more tripping this year and take you with me as well well maybe we'll go check out some of you know the Louis Vuittons around Australia and go and check out their boutiques see what's going on come around and visit some of my subbies there's a new boutique opened up in Cairns we'll go down to Melbourne I think we might go see Mel in Melbourne hi babe we might go give her a visit um, so yeah let's do some things like that let's get on the road and have some fun but I wish you all the best and I will see you in 2020. Take care guys, peace.